forest hills, the best of American tennis. For all tournament players, the top of the heap. Game, set, and match, Miss Connolly. First step, next semi-final. Stores hard again. Will she have a chance? She could walk off with the title if she'd stop treating those top-seated barracudas as if they were angels from heaven. If she knew how this charming crew of cutthroats really feels about her, maybe she'd get her guard up. But they're so friendly. Put on a good show. Why not? As long as Maureen is in awe, they've got the advantage where it counts. She can't see the ball for looking at their halos. You mean they're just pretending to be fond of her? They say that Connolly is a swell-headed, thumb-sucking, wet-nosed brat. But they've all encouraged her. They make fun of her. They tell everyone that she had to bring two grown-ups along to heat up her bottle and change her diapers. I hear they've made a pact. Whatever else happens, they're going to run her butt out of tournament tennis and back to the playpen where it belongs. Well, that's what I heard. They're going to knock my butt right out of tournament tennis. And all the time, pretending to be so kind, so considerate. Bunch of two-faced liars. Hello, Teach? Yes? I have to talk to you right away. Not tonight. And I won't be there for the match tomorrow. Well, you have to stay. I've got a reservation on the first plane to Boston in the morning. Teach? If you have anything new to say to me, come to my room in the morning. Why are they all against me? Because you had the brass to challenge them. They've all had hundreds of challenges. Not from anybody who's just 16. They're going to finish you off because they can't stand the idea of anybody so young being where they are. I thought they were my friends. You don't make friends by crawling, begging. Let them crawl to you. I don't know. This is it, Conley. Grow up. It's now or never. I know you can go out there this afternoon and win. You know it, too. So unless you want to trade in your tennis court for a playpen and your racket for a rattle, take your thumb out of your mouth and start playing tennis. Are you still going to Boston? I think I'd rather stick around and watch you win. This is the semi-final match of the United States Lawn Tennis Association's Women's Singles Championship. On my left, former national junior champion, Miss Maureen Connolly. And on my right, Miss Doris Hart, Wimbledon champion. Miss Connolly won the toss and is elected to serve first. Linesman ready? Players, Players ready? ready? Play. Play. someone with so much experience. Conley will win. Hart leads, leads four, four games, games to one, one first, first set. set. Game 
to Miss Connolly. Miss Hart leads four games to three, first set. Game to four. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be continued tomorrow afternoon, weather permitting. Run my butt out of tournament tennis. There's a Gordon McRae movie playing downtown. Maybe we could catch an early show. You know, I don't think so, Sophie. You go ahead. Well, wouldn't it be good for you to get your mind off the match? <sighs> OK. See you later. Bye. She leads five, five games, games to one. one. Game to Miss Hart. Miss Connolly leads five games to two. Tell her the truth. I will. After she wins the title. Stay in until 11.30. I'll give you a rub down and we'll plan our strategy for Shirley Fry. I want to go to New York. Maureen? For my birthday, Aunt Gert gave me money to buy a fancy dress. I want to go to an elegant shop and buy a fancy black evening gown. <sighs> well, we could go tomorrow. I want to go right now. You're playing in the finals this afternoon. Teach, have I asked for a lot, been unreasonable, made a lot of childish demands? Well, then why can't I have the thing I want right now? Why can't we go to New York and buy me a knockout black evening dress? <laughs> I am 
sorry. I have nothing that would be suitable. Can you recommend another shop? We haven't got time for another shop. I thought everybody in New York wore smart black evening dresses. I thought the stores were full of them, and I can't find even one. Well, what about this one? No, I want black. I do have one style, but it is too mature for you. Can I try it on? If you like. Come with me. Certainly. I'll take it. You two may think I look silly, but this is just what I needed. I'm ready to face Shirley Fry and anybody else that comes along. Game and second set to Miss Fry. Six games to one. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a 10-minute intermission. Now listen to me. You've got to move faster. Oh. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. You haven't got time to feel tired. You've got to move even if it kills you. Think. You're one set away from being the American women's champion at 16. Now if you try, I know you can win. You know you can win. Get out there and win. How is she? What's up? She's all right.
Wimbledon is a municipal borough of Surrey, England, and a residential suburb of London. Since 1877, when the first championship tournament was held here on the grounds of the All England Lawn Tennis Club, Wimbledon has also been the ultimate goal in world tennis. Seven years after the championships began, Maud Watson became the first women's champion, winning from a field of 13 players. The first American to win the title at Wimbledon was an 18-year-old California woman named Mae Sutton. She carried home the trophy in 1904. Late 20s and early 30s, Helen Wills dominated the game, and then in 1939, it was another Californian, Alice Marble, who made the center court and its fans her own. Now, in 1952, Maureen Connolly was at the cherished spot, 17, hoping she could add her name to the golden list. Lost your way, have you love? They said my dressing room was up here. Maureen Connolly? Oh, yes. Well, well come in. My, you are young. It's a bit overwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just the word Wimbledon makes a girl all a tremble. Well, this is where we try to make you feel at home. I think you'll find everything necessary you want in there. But if you don't, but just ask. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Did someone ask him for you? Who's calling, please? It's the press. They want to know when you're coming out on the courts to practice. Soon. Miss Connolly will be out presently. Now, shall I help you dress? Oh, yes, thank you. Ooh. What is it, love? That shoulder's a little stiff. I got chilled. Well, we'll have a nice massage for you after practice. Thank you. How about the sore shoulder? Well, anybody can have a sore shoulder. Well, when little Mo has it, well, it's headlines. You know, it must have been rather bad to keep you out of the Queen's mixed doubles. I'm really perfectly fine, but I mustn't keep Louise waiting uh, any Miss Ruff hopes to make a comeback after three previous Wimbledon wins. Do you think you can stop her in the finals? Well, I have to get to the finals first. Please, I'll talk with you later. But, but just one more question. Hi, Maureen. Sorry, I'm late. That's OK. practice. Is there anything I can do? I'll manage. I told you not to practice today. More trouble with that shoulder, is it? No comment. Is there a possibility Miss Connolly may scratch? It's nothing serious. No comment, gentlemen. No comment. Excuse me. No comment. Make it rest, Miss Tennant. Well, wait a minute. It's, uh, it's my shoulder. Uh, I think I have a right to know what's wrong with it. It's a torn muscle. Are you sure? Positive. Well, if it's a torn muscle, why doesn't it hurt when I hit a forehand or a backhand? Why is it only with an overhead? Continue to force yourself, Miss Connolly, and I will not be responsible. 
You might induce a total paralysis. Hogan says it's only bursitis. As I understand it, Mr. Hogan is a monsieur, not a physician. All right, then I want to be examined by another doctor. That's your prerogative, of course. But I am confident that my findings will be supported by anyone who is an expert in this field. There's no need for another examination. We'll support Dr. Noy's diagnosis. Teach? What will that mean? It means that Maureen won't be playing at Wimbledon. Withdrawing your name. Teach, please, can't we at least Come talk on. it over? We'll talk it over outside. I can't quit now. I have to play. You can win next year. I know I can do it now. I have to do it now. And I know that if you play with that shoulder, you haven't got a chance this year, next year, or any year. Teach. The matter is settled. Teach knows best, and that's that. It's a rule that's worked pretty well for you so far. Now, if you can't accept it... Do you have a bus ticket in your pocket? Maureen, I've already told you why you're not playing. Why are you fighting me? Are you out to prove you don't need me? Of course not. I do need you. I want your help. I just then want... Then go back to the hotel and go to bed. I want to see just one more doctor. And when he backs my stand, you'll want another one. You're not playing. You're taking a month off, six weeks, whatever we need to let that torn muscle heal. Mm-hmm. 